Robin's like differentiator. The one thing that like there's a ton of 399 Android phones right now, right? Mm -hmm. So what we do is there's 32 gigs of online uh, on board storage, but then there's 100 gigs of online storage. But that online storage, it's not like a Dropbox or a Google Drive. Uh, it's not something where you throw files in there. It's not something where you like use it to like send your friends movies. The way it does is it seamlessly augments the onboard storage of the phone. Okay. So every time Robin is plugged in and on Wi-Fi, it's backing up all of your apps, your videos, your photos to our servers. And then, like, later on, like, ten months later, I don't know, depends on how much you use your phone, when your memory starts to get full, what we can do is we can archive things that we know are backed up and things that you don't use and create more space on the phone. That way we're cool. always creating more space on the phone. Mm -hmm. And that way you're always ha you always have room to like load new apps and to like take more photos and more videos um, without ever having to do anything. You never have to manage any of it. Seamless, sounds seamless. Yeah. Yeah. seamless. Very so cool. when you, um, when we archive something, we always leave a thumbnail on the phone. Uh, so if it's an application, we leave like a grayed out version of the app icon. Okay. Um, no, if it's a photo, we leave a screen resolution photo, same All thing for like a video, um, right? So everything has been down sampled and there's always a thumbnail on your phone. So like you if you, yeah, if you just need to like see that photo, you don't have to like here. download the, the full file. And find it. Okay. But if you then want to, then all you have to do is tap on it and it will download from the cloud. Same thing for apps, like, so for an app, like, all, it, it, when you tap on that grayed out icon, we automatically restore it from the cloud, bring it back, and all your data is there for you. Simple, okay. Yeah, Makes yeah, sense. so there's never any, like, there's no worries about, like, having to like futz around and like move things off your phone anything like that we all do it in the background for you if there's apps that even though you only use them once every six months you really 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 want on your phone we give you a way to override the, the archiving process so that you can say never archive this app oh that's important i yeah right love that like, option maybe there's like a travel app that you use but you don't travel all that often no problem you can just we call it pin you can pin <laughs> that app and then it will never get archived okay um, so there, cool. there there is a little bit of a way for you to manage it but not anything for you to do actively we just do it all in the background okay then can you show me the hardware a little bit on here yeah sure so um, this version this is an EVT version of our hardware EVT is means this is very early in the Beta. development process yeah yeah sure <laughs> yeah. The, the, this is like I don't know pre-alpha <laughs> okay okay um, but that, so not all the finishes are what we want them to be. There's still a little bit of work to be done. Sure. Um, and the software is the same way, right? Okay. But we wanted to bring it here to be able to make sure that you could, you could get it in your hands. You could actually feel what it's like to hold it. You could realize that even though it looks very angular, that it's actually pretty comfortable. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, and then so we screen here. Um, these are dual front facing speakers, each with their uh, own amplifier. Oh, nice. I love dual front facing. That's the only way to go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Agreed. Um, <laughs> on a, 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 and then hidden behind this second uh, circle here is all of uh, the sensors that you need for front facing, right? So, like, that's where your proximity, your light, all of that is. Um, but we, do, we wanted it to look. Like, to echo the back, where we have the, the two circles Alistair. for the camera and the flash. Um, what up, Alistair? Mm -hmm. He's watching. How's the office? <laughs> um, beneath the cloud logo, these, there's four LEDs here. So whenever we'll we're doing any of the stuff that I, I've, I've, I, I was talking about in terms of the backing up, the archiving, the restoring, whenever any of that is going on, these lights will light up oh. um, to let you know that basically we're doing something, right? Oh, because, that's pretty cool, actually. Right, so like one of the things when you think about it is like a, a lot of the stuff that we're doing, we're talking about how seamless it is, how it's happening in the background. Mm -hmm. So the, we wanted to give you a way to know that it was happening anyways, but we didn't want it to bug you. 
okay. just wanted it to be something kind of cool, right? And that's a, that's a great way to implement it. It really is. Like it's not like an LED. It's not a notification. But you flip it over, you can see. Oh, it's okay. It's doing some syncing. Right. Right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Right, it's right. Pretty cool. Uh, top is headset jack and your uh, your secondary microphone. Okay. Um, here, this is volume keys. On this version, this is our midnight color. Um, the final ones, the volume keys will actually be midnight as well. Okay. Bottom, we have our USB-C port. C, excellent. Yes. Everybody's going that way. You got to keep <laughs> exactly, up. Exactly, nope. exactly. Yep. Uh, and the, the primary microphone. And then uh, on this side, you have your SIM tray. And this is our power key, but this is also the fingerprint sensor. Okay. So uh, it, all you need to do is press in and leave your thumb there for a split second, and it, it turns the phone on and it unlocks it. it. That way, you know, you, right? It's it's pointless for you to have to like find another fingerprint sensor when your power key is right there. And we have it so that you actually have to press in to wake it up first, so okay. that you're not always turning your phone on by accident gotcha. by putting your finger there. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Very cool. We'll Very be cool. running Marshmallow when we launch. These phones are on 511. I saw that. But we already have builds that are on, running on our Nexus 5s okay. um, of Marshmallow, and so we'll be able to launch with that no problem. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Hey, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. It looks like an awesome product. Definitely want to check that out when it gets released. Thanks, man.